guys. Um, after I got out of the bath, you know, I just was doing me for real. Um, I'm still currently, you know, reaching out to um, different lawyers and stuff, trying to um, get some sort of assistance in this situation as I wait for my own complaint stuff to come back. But, you know, I just, I worked out this morning and I just feel really good. Today's perfect. That's how I feel, honestly. Sound out a little. Today is a good day. Um, I was also thinking um, about the incident yesterday. About how um, you know the boy kept putting his feet on my seat, and I had to call him out. Okay. Yeah, keep putting your feet on my seats. And he said, who are you? Like, I said, what does that matter? You keep putting your feet on my seat, silly boy. Like, what, what does that have to do with anything? That's how I know you all know who I am. You all know exactly who I am. You know, like, why would you feel the need to say that? Because you know who I am. And you know what you're doing. And when that whole thing occurred, you know, I didn't, you know, lash out or anything because that was tedious. Teacher just sat there and he listened to us and he was like, listening to us, listening to the boy, you know, listening to him put his feet on my seat. He just let it happen and I was going to wait after class and um, go to him because I did that before. I had to wait after class and went to him, Mr. Can I move my seat? He said, yeah. But um, this time, he ran out of the classroom right before the bell even rang to let me know that he is not in support of me. His name is Benjamin Collins, I believe. Yeah. He left right out of the class before I can even get a chance to even speak with him about the situation, which he had sat and watched happen. I emailed him then. I was like, um, Mr. I was wondering if I could switch, switch my seat as my other seat was taken by someone. You know, someone just decided to take my seat and legitimately look at me like, I got your seat. Are you going to argue with me? I'm not going to argue. That's so tedious. That's like, these are the kind of things that I'm talking like that I have to go through. Like, why would anybody even have to face that? It's like either, you know, you have a seat where people are going to keep bumping your seat seat where you already sat somebody gonna take it it's like just different things you know that people try and provoke you with and it's like dang it's like oh, i'm trying not to even be a part of this but it's like there's no way to really avoid it when everybody is really trying to antagonize you like even the teachers it goes right down to the teachers and it's like all of this is rooted in nothing because I didn't do anything. You get me? But yeah, I'm about to head to school, you know. I'm trying to get there early. So that I can get my seat. I got any weird issues. Like twenty seven in the Look it up. Yo, 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 listen. I'm tired of this clinic and this class. The LeBron is the best player in the world. Hey y'all. Um, I'm in the gym. I'm in gym. I'm in the locker room because I just finished doing some work. But now I'm in here just waiting for lunch. I can go outside. I've been feeling like everything is good. You know, I've had a good day. Just now, um, you know, my friend didn't say hi to me on purpose. You know, walked right past me on purpose, smiling, full on smile. But that's what I see. 
Ja? Das ist nicht Incident with the C, I had moved my C um, first period. And um, there was no real issues. There was a guy who just threw his charger over my feet on purpose, trying to be an asshole. And um, I just ignored it, you know, because today's perfect. Today's perfect. You know, I was just thinking about how in middle school, I used to just shit every day in the bathroom. I would shit every day. And, and maybe it was lunch that was getting me, you know, bubbling in the stomach and shit, but, but I don't know. But I remember one day, I was in the bathroom and some, some bully girl who was trying to be my friend when I grew up. She was trying to be my friend. She didn't sit there. Now what she did was she didn't knock on my stall and talk about some. Oh, who's in here? Who's in here? Should I just blow my shit up? I'm like, what is wrong with this girl? What is wrong with this girl? Oh my like, yes, I'm in here. I'm like, yeah, something to shit. I'm like, why are you in my business? You know? Isn't that so rude? I thought that shit was so rude. You know? How could I not make you mine? How could I not make you mine? How could I not make you mine? Why do you think I'm looking at me? Don't make me laugh. I gotta go. I gotta go. <laughs> I'm gonna have to climb up on the shit. Climb up, get on there. Well, it's just so funny how I get up the. Pretty cold out here. My staff bomb. But it's also warm, which is conflicting in a sense. I don't get it now because I'd rather be outside than inside. I like the weather. It's still a little cold though. Here's a better look. Yes. Gym was gym. Gym is really like just time for me to just sit and just um experience myself. You know? But yeah. I will get back to you shortly, you know? Last period. My favorite period, which is music. And I really love it. Come on. 
Sometimes you're clear before you follow me out, okay? I was just um, in period one. And um, there was a guy just, you know, trying to antagonize me. Mm-hmm. Putting a seat on the chair, you know, bumping the chair. You know, the whole shit down. Um, that was period one, though, you know? Mm-hmm. And the teacher tried to call me out, you know? And I'd sent him a private email. And he called it out in front of the whole class. And then period two. This is, um, I think it's called finance. Personal finance. There's headphones over here, guys, so you can listen to the video, okay? You can use your headphones, but some people like to use these headphones and their own headphones so they can listen to music and the video at the same time. Hey, y'all. I'm in gym. And I just got some of my work done. Yes, there's one person in there. Oh, oh. Janitor said, hurry. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, I'm just vibing out, you know. Y'all vibing out? You with me? Aliens. Aliens. One of the most well, basic, well known ones. Well, here's the thing it can't be a conspiracy theory if it's true. Yeah. It's true. Alright, you got one? No. So, from the footage, you could see that the guy behind me was intentionally tapping his foot against my chair. And he knew, so I turned around, you know, after filming him. And he's like, oh, am I? Did I? Like, yeah, you are intentionally hitting my seat. And then the guy with him just said the N-word, and he's white. He said it on purpose to get a reaction out of me. I just left. I'm tired. And I don't really feel like I'm um, sitting around that kind of energy. I don't care for that at all. Guys, I don't know. I feel like every day I walk into the school, there's like a burden weighing me down. Just even the fear of the fact that I might not even be able to graduate because these teachers are sabotaging me in such a way where they're just collectively joining in and collectively talking about me together, about, you know, like just with each other. It feels like, it feels like a force that I can't even like reckon with. It's my education system. It's Central High School. Like, what can you do in a situation like that? 
not much, you know? There's not much that you can do. It's up to, you know, go through with it until, you know, I graduate. Hey guys, I just woke up today and just, I didn't feel like I could, um, you know, make it to school today. I didn't feel motivated today. I just feel stuck. Like every day is just, um, I get harassed every single day in every single class, you know? It's like never really a break until lunch. Even then, you know, people will you know, try and come around me, gather around my table. It's just like, damn. Like, I never did anything to anybody for them to treat me that way, but it's inevitable somehow. This really does weigh on my, men my mental health. I woke up today just thinking about how I'm gonna put this, put an end to all of this. Or can I? I'm supposed to, you know, keep strong, keep going, because I know this is what they want from me. You know, to just not come, just to give up, but I just don't feel good. I don't feel like I'm in the right mind state for school. I feel trapped. Trapped in a cycle where I'm all constantly targeted. This is like the kind of stuff that kids, you know, commit suicide over. I feel like I'm really on the verge. To like, this is really detrimental. Seeing like you know, kids will kill themselves, you know, due to bullying, I understand the feeling completely. I understand the not being heard. I understand the crowds, bunches of people just trying to tear you down. collectively and then when your teachers are doing it too I don't have any footage from um, you know after the class period yesterday but I just I got tired and I just cried yesterday I was crying my sister called the school and spoke with them just telling her about how I just feel like dying. You know, because when nobody's in support of you, nobody wants to help you do it. When you feel all alone, it's not a good feeling. And I would never wish this feeling on anybody, ever. It feels so lonely. And when you just want to succeed, and then people just don't like you for that. It makes you feel like, well, what can I do? What can I do to, um, you know, regulate these feelings that dwell within me each day? You know, as people try and provoke me in every class, when you don't do anything, you just do your work. People come up to your table, slam things on the desk and whatnot, bumping your chair, you know, making monkey noises. And then you like, what do you do when you when you're just a sweet girl? You don't even want to even, you know, participate. And now you're saying nigga behind me, and they're white, and they know. I almost cried last period yesterday.
Fox boy took my entire chair, flipped it around, it was riding on it. CJ didn't say anything to him, he allowed him to do that. So when I came back from the bathroom, you know, I saw that. I just took the chair, I was like, excuse me. And I was like, you took her chair? <laughs> and I was just like, why did the teacher stop him letting me say anything? Because they don't care. And I see that everybody's collectively hating me for no reason. And they don't do anything to stop it. And they don't do anything to help. Because they don't care. I truly believe that I will find justice within this. My voice is heard worldwide. This won't fester. This won't continue. Hey guys, um, I woke up, made some breakfast, some egg sausage, avocado toast, and I was watching a few um TED Talks with black women and they were just explaining, you know, all kinds of things like about self-love, self-worth, you know, knowing yourself. And it did make me feel better. I, I woke up just not in the right mind state at all, you know, just completely feeling defeated yet wanting, you know, to do anything, something, anything to counteract any of this that I was going through. I just wanted some sort of sign you know, to show me, hey, you are doing good. And I had to let myself know, you are worthy. You know, you are deserving of a beautiful life. And you don't deserve any of that, you know. They're trying to bring me down because they know, you know, that I'm at peace with myself. They want to disturb that peace. And, you know, they've been successful in the last few days I've just been feeling really worn out beat down like dang I gotta keep doing this for another three months I was thinking should I go to school today and I'm not gonna because I'm not in the right mind space at all you know to sit around people who are gonna try and provoke me which eventually they will get a reaction out of me because I'm at this low vibration you know, I'd rather avoid that at all costs. Yeah, I'm just sitting here evaluating, accepting. And loving myself, telling myself everything is okay because I don't have nobody to do that for me. My grandmother, she doesn't really care, you know, about what I'm really going through. It doesn't really, it doesn't affect her, so, you know, she's not going to really care. Are you okay? You know, are you alright? Is everything okay? None of that. So, when things like this do happen to me, it's up to me. Hey, everything's alright. Let myself know that everything's going to be okay. I just got to remain, I don't want to say strong, because strong insinuates that you don't need help strong-willed knowing that everything's gonna work out exactly how I want it because I am deserving of that